Welcome back everyone, Patrick here. And moving on to the next question, we have to show that the triangle with these vertices, A, two and zero, B, one and three, and then C, negative one and negative one, is an isosceles triangle. So just as a quick review, an isosceles triangle, what? It has two sides that have the same length, right? And then this side here would be a different length. So what we want to do is find the length of each side, and then if two of the lengths equal, then we know it's going to be a nice isosceles triangle. So to first start off, let's actually draw a quick diagram of what's happening here. So we have 2 and 0, which is going to be over here. And then we have 1 and 3, which would be like up here. So this would be B, 1 and 3. And then we have negative one, negative one, which would be like down here. Right, so if we connect these, just a rough drawing, that's the triangle right there. It's kind of hard to tell which of the sides are going to be the same from the drawing. This is not to scale. If you drew this on graph paper, then it would be easier to tell which of the sides are potentially going to be the same length, but either way, you're gonna to have to find the lengths of all three sides. Even if you do it on graph paper and you could tell, the teacher's gonna require you to show all your work for all three sides. So let's start off with getting this side over here, AB. Now, just the length formula in general between two points, x1, y1, x2, y2, what is it going to be? Well, it's going to be x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared, like that. So we're working with uh, points a and b, so we got 2 and 0. Let's uh, write these points out here. We got 2 and 0, and then we have 1 and 3. So I'm going to let this be x1, y1 x2, y2. The order, doesn't matter if you let this be x2, y2, and then this x1, y1, you're still going to get the same answer in the end. So from here, we'll have square root of 1, x2, minus x1, so we'll have 1 minus 2 squared plus 3 minus 0 squared, which would be negative 1 squared plus 3 squared and then we would end up with what? One plus nine, which would give us 10. So we'd have the square root of 10. And then you can get the decimal of this. I think it would be like a three point something, but I'm just gonna leave it as an exact value. So the length over here is root 10. Okay, now let's get the length for uh, BC. So with line BC, we're going to be using the points 1 and 3, and then negative 1 and negative 1. So I'm going to let this be x1, y1, x2, y2. Be careful with the negatives here. So we'd have negative 1 minus 1 squared plus negative 1 minus 3 squared, like that. Now negative 1 minus 1 would give us negative 2, that's going to be squared, then negative 1 minus 3 would give us negative 4, and then that's going to be squared. Now if you rearrange these and let this be x2, y2, this be x1, y1, then you'd end up with um, 1 minus negative 1, for example, and then that would end up being 1 plus 1, which would give us 2, and that would be squared. And then you'd have 3 minus negative 1, which would end up being 3 plus 1, which would be 4. And then 4 would be squared. So notice negative 4 to the power 2 or 4 to the power 2 gives us 16. Or negative 2 to the power 2 or 2 to the power 2 would give us 4. That's why those answers would still be the same. So whichever way you do it, you end up with 16 plus 4, which would be 20. So that's going to be root. 20. I'm going to leave it again as an exact value. So this length over here is going to be root 20. And then finally, 
the length of AC, that would be the third side, so we'll use points negative 1, negative 1, 2, and 0, so we'll have x1, y1, x2, y2, and so we would have x2, 2, minus x1, negative 1, make sure you put that in brackets, that's going to be squared, then we'll have y2, 0, minus negative 1, make sure you put that in brackets, and then that's going to be squared, so this would end up being 3 to the power 2 plus 0 minus negative 1 would be like 0 plus 1, which would give us 1. That's going to be squared. So we'd end up with 9 plus 1, which would give us 10. Okay, so this here is going to be root 10, the length of AC. And so notice the length of AB and the length of AC are the same. And so we proved that this triangle it's an isosceles triangle, and then this length was different. If this length here was the same as these two, then it would be an equilateral triangle. All right, so root 10, root 10. Sometimes you'll see these solutions be in decimals, right? I left them as exact values, but if you want to plug it into your calculator, you can get the decimals as well. Sometimes they'll ask you for certain characteristics, like the perimeter, for example. So with the perimeter, you would just take all of these add them up, right? But we weren't asked that, we were asked to show it's an isosceles. You find all the lengths, root 10 and 